That's pretty cool, though, right? These guys, I mean, they appreciate what you did. That was a big moment for you, coaching wise, right? Is that Mount Rushmore for you in terms of singular moments? I, it was, a, it was a great team moment. You know, we needed it. Um, you know, the guys worked extremely hard to prepare themselves for the moment, and um, you know, I. I'm just excited that in, in that situation at that time, we were able to execute and get it done. How much did LSU change up the front on that based on Jared's block of the earlier field goal? Yeah, so, you know, the, the very first field goal that we didn't block, we got really good penetration on it. And one of the adjustments we made on the sideline was be less thick on the, on the tight end and get more skinny through the gap. And obviously that paid off and, and we were able to, to get the block on the second, the second attempt. And then... Uh, as the game rocked along, you could tell that the, the tight end was very focused on making sure that he closed his inside gap, uh, which ultimately opened up the, the gap for Shaheem uh, coming off the edge uh, you know, at the end of the game. So all those things kind of tied together in terms of, of how it worked. And um, you know, the, the guys did a phenomenal job of executing. And more than anything, you know, it, it provided a great example for, for all of our players and everyone in the program. Because one of the things that, that is preached every day, Coach Norvell preaches and all of our, our staff is, is two things. Number one is momentum only uh, it affects the people that allow it. And it only is as long as the next play. So you can change the momentum with one play. And then two is let your effort always be your defining factor. And the effort that, that was given you know, after everything that went through at the end of the game was, was phenomenal. And, and it's what ultimately allowed us to, to come out of that uh, successful. Do you guys, are you getting information from the booth about alignment, stuff like that during the game? Or how do you guys <coughs> we do get information from up top, but um, in terms of, of, of that specific, you know, that was easy to see from the field level. But um, the guys that, that are in the box, Coach Woodson, Coach Shannon, uh, they do a phenomenal job uh, relaying feedback. The two muff puns, Wyatt and Brendan, how good of a job did they do at being at the point of where they need to be when the ball might hit the turf? Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, our guys did a really nice job in coverage. Um, you know, one of the things that, that we emphasize, especially with Alex as, as our punter, because sometimes those Aussie style punts, they do kind of have a weird knuckle to them, um, is expect the ball to come out. And, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. You're in position to go make the tackle on the play. But uh, when it does, we need to capitalize on those opportunities. And, um, you know, I think, you know, I, off the top of my head, I think that's the sixth, fifth or sixth time um, Alex has forced a, a fumble with his hang time. And then the guy's doing a phenomenal job in coverage. And uh, I'm pretty sure every time the ball's hit the turf, we've gotten it back. So, um, you know, guys really buy into that and believe in it. And you had a few guys down there. It wasn't like just one guy down there. Yeah, I thought the coverage was good. I thought I think both of our cover units have, have been good so far to, to this point this year. But I thought our punt coverage guys did a great job getting down there and putting themselves in position if the ball did come out, which obviously did, to, to make a play. Ryan had to go out of bounds on kickoffs. Was he trying to hit it a certain way and just missed it? What what happened on those two? You know, I, initially when when the first one happened, I thought it was it was just being a little bit overexcited. You know, we there's a lot of adrenaline, a lot of motion coming out of, of the tunnel and, and leading up to the kickoff. Um, and I thought maybe he tried to hit it too hard. Um, you know, and then and I think once that happens, uh, if you start to press at all, it becomes a little bit, a little bit more difficult. I think once he made an extra point and kind of was able to take a deep breath, um, he did a nice job of composing himself. And and then in the second half, I thought he did a nice job. So you know, the thing I. I you know, was was proud for him about was you got to be able to bounce back from those situations, and obviously that couldn't have been a worse start uh, for him. But as the game rocked along, obviously he settled in and and uh, was able to finish nicely. You mentioned the bounce back. You know, special teams overall in the first quarter kind of struggled. How big was it to see the unit bounce back? You know, and make the difference in the game. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, so um, with, with our with our guys, obviously not the start. You know, two kicks out of bounds. Uh, the missed field goal, not not the start that you want, but um, you know you just you just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep playing. And our guys have a lot of confidence and a lot of belief in the work that they put in from a special team standpoint, and uh, you know believe every single time they have an opportunity to impact games uh, with how we play. So uh, obviously that showed up the other night, and I'm uh, I'm glad that it did because it it continues to reinforce the message that we send every day in the meeting rooms is that that we can dominate and win games uh, with our with a, that third unit, that special teams phase, and. And it's critical for us to be able to do that uh, moving forward. In the, in the kickoff return game, did you feel like it got cleaned up a little bit from Duquesne to LSU? Yeah, much better in terms of uh, um, just the drops, the, the uh, blocking assignments, fundamentals and technique. I thought on the, on the last kick, kick return, 
uh, you know, guys did a really nice job. Uh, we got a little bit uh, beat on a one-on-one -on -one block on the interior, um, but partly we can we can set the, set up his block a little bit better. Um, but I, I thought guys, I thought we made improvement. And you know, I think Sam, I continue to believe every single day that we're out here practicing and I watch him that he's going to be a weapon for us. Um, and with the more opportunities that he gets, the, the better that he's going to be. I thought I thought our punt block unit um, did a nice job. We we uh, went for the block on the first one, uh, you know, and it was close. You know, and Malik did a nice job of, of running through the block point. Uh, obviously, they had a great punt, but Micah did a nice job fielding it. And then uh, on the second one, we set up the same kind of look, and I, I think that was partly what, what forced the, the poor punt. Uh, so so I was really kind of really pleased with with the execution on, on the punt return unit uh, coming out of it. I mean, Shaheen's obviously been on the lap, but technique-wise, is that – sometimes you guys, you can go with the foot. And you know, yeah. They, they do it all. No, everything was, was by the book, you know. And and uh, one of the things that, that we do, and I, and, I, and I don't know what anyone else does, and I don't – I don't try to pretend to speak on what other people do in their practices, but I do know this, that, that we do a ton of live field goal reps. Um, and the effort that Shaheen displayed on, on Sunday night was really the same effort that he gives in our tempo period to start practice or in our field goal block period. Like he, that's, a, that's a guy that, that it's hard to turn him off. Um, so when he was able to get through and, and make the play, it wasn't, it wasn't a surprise to me. Um, and I think it, and obviously it makes our field goal unit better. Uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that, that we, you know, a couple of years ago we had the three blocks in the opener against Georgia Tech, and we had a couple, of, and that was their opener this year. I think it's because the way we, we practice. And, and, again, I don't know what other people do, but I do know how we practice, and, and then it's full speed, and, and we get after it. Two more. We've, we've been writing about and talking about Jermaine and Cure leaving for about nine months. Yeah. How would you feel like the end was uh, You know, I, th I think as a, as a collective it was a solid performance, I think. Um, you know, Jared uh, did a phenomenal job. I thought he had a really, really good game, and I think that was important uh, for us, but also important for him. Um, you know, because it, 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 there, that question, even after Duquesne, still lingers of you know the, the the level of opponent, right? That's still out there. I didn't have that question in my mind, but I'm sure people had that question because it was still an FCS opponent. Um, and then to, to go play a, a, one of the better SEC teams traditionally and. Uh, who, who's super talented and still have that level of performance, uh, there should be no more questions, I don't think, of, of whether um, he's capable to play at this level. And It's something we always knew, but but I'm glad that he was able to showcase that for, for everybody else. Well, speaking about Jay, uh, what's your like, favorite part of like, He's such an amazing person. Give me your favorite part. How do you pick one? Just talk about them. How yeah, there's so many, I don't even know where to begin. But um, where I would start is just the work ethic and the toughness. I, I would start with that. Um, you know, and, and plus the endearing pain in the, pain in the backside that, that you have. I haven't heard that one. <laughs> okay. One more. Dennis and Derek, how did they do as well? Yeah, you know, I think, I think both of them had moments that flashed. Um, you know, I, I think uh, Dennis was very good, especially against the run. Um, there wasn't much running game, design running game that was able to get started. Um, you know, he did a, a nice job, I thought, when he went inside in terms of, of execution of pass rush. It didn't really flash in terms of statistics or anything like that. But, um, you know, I think I think both of them did, had solid days. And we just got to keep building on it and, and getting better as we go.